All right, so I just want to make a little, quick little response to um, Sunrise Hoodie and his uh, in this video called MGTOW Mailbag. Um, she can't pair bond her promiscuous past. This is an amazing video, and I just want to give uh, Sunrise Hoodie a you know, big thumbs up for making this video. I just stumbled across this video. This was done a couple years ago, or about a, about a year ago, uh, December 21st, 2017. Um, this is a video that I, whew, man, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time because he touches on something that, um, that, wow, I just, um, I've seen this, I've seen this happen. What he's talking about, he's talking about how women get damaged from, uh, sleeping around. And so it makes it so she can't pair bond. And he had a reader that he's reading who called in, um, very, 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 very good. Um, so I, I just responded on the video and I said, this is a great video. I've been trying to make a similar video to this for a long time. I've noticed that women who sleep around constantly are damaged and not just physically, but emotionally and mentally it damages them more. It must be from a Christian perspective because the Bible, the Bible says this, you know, like the Bible says, let me just found on that point for a second. The Bible says, um, that there's loose women and that, and that you shouldn't follow after them. But nowadays all these women are loose and it's a whole culture that we're fighting. It's a whole, um, system that that you know if you're a christian you believe the devil is doing this and i i've been talking about you know my last few videos that, that there's evil out there liberalism and feminism it produces this no morals culture and uh, says that women can do everything men can do it and it's such a lie i mean my ex-girlfriend said that you, you know i said well you're a slut we, you know when we broke up i said if, if you weren't if you weren't um, sleeping around, maybe by the time we met, we could have actually had a real relationship. And she said, well, you're a slut too. And da, da, da. But that's just a, you know, excuse in reality, you know, women have, you know, power over their own body. You know what I mean? They have power, whether they, they give in to sex or not. And you could blame men in a sense and say, well, the guys that they're chasing, you know, they want sex, but women should have more, you know, um, power over their own bodies. And, and I think that it's sad that we live in a culture that produces this concept that they can just be loose and have no consequences. Cause there's, there's this, this video perfectly talks about the consequences. Um, you know, they, they eventually can't pair bond when, when, when they sleep around, they eventually can't, they have trouble whether it's emotionally or psychologically, they have trouble really loving their, their, their significant other because of their sexual past. And this makes perfect sense. And I've known this for a long time. Um, and particularly with, you know, with women who choose men based on certain characteristics and based on certain, you know, stand, you know, like, okay, well, I chose this guy because he has money. Well, yeah, but that's not real love. Right. So, so you're choosing a guy because he has money, but you're not you know, um, choosing him because you emotionally love him or because you physically love, you know, love is on several different tiers. When you really love someone, you love them mentally, emotionally, and you become like this video says pair bonded with that person, meaning through sex and through that physical, um, you know, bond that you make with somebody love needs to be in that equation if you just marry somebody or you just seek out somebody for a relationship just because they provide security for you, then you're, you're, you're in a, you're going to have a big problem. And it's just like he says in the video, you know, these women are, are making fun of their men. These women are, um, you know, downgrading their, their men and saying their current men are losers. And they're really, what they're really trying to do is they're, they're bored and they want to, they, they want to go back to that promiscuous past that they used to have that all that great sex that they used to have. It's like, well, you, you know, you, you made your bed lie in it. So you, you, you know, you choose one or the other, like on the one hand, you could be like, well, I'm going to go out and have a bunch of promiscuous sex. But then when you're doing that, you're like, damn, I'm lonely. I want love. None of these guys love me. They just fuck me, come on me and leave, you know? And then, and then at that point, it's like, well, I want someone to hold me, da, da, da. So then you go out and look for someone to hold you, and then you find somebody to hold you, and then it's like, oh, but I miss all that great sex. It's like, well, you can't have both, man. And women these days, they want both. So they want, the, they want that, but it, but, but it never works because when you cheat on somebody or when you sleep around, you lose, you lose love. You, you, you lose your ability to love. 
you know, and you become damaged. And I see this constantly with women out in the world. They become damaged. But what happened with me is I met hypergamy even in the church, right? So I was in church and I, and I prayed to God. I said, God, you know, I, I need a wife. And I was reading the Bible and I was like, well, and, you know, it needs to be, um, God needs to bring me my wife just like he brought Adam, you know, Eve. And just like, you know, um, uh, Isaac waited around for Rebecca or whatever, right? So there's these examples in the Bible of God bringing, bringing, you know, you know, a, a wife to a man. So I prayed to God and I asked, and it didn't happen. I was, I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited, and then there was a couple girls in the church. So I was like, oh, maybe it's her, maybe it's her. So, but then I realized, even in the church, even in the church, there was hypergamy. You know, and, and that discouraged me from going. You know, they wanted me to be have you know have a bright future and make a lot of money and um you know be a real spiritual brother you know you know in the church and be real you know like a almost like an elder and, and have position in the church and it was like dude even in the church i realized that these women were hypergamous you know and so i was just like it just discouraged me it it it, it, it came in between my relationship with god it damaged my relationship with god because i was like god you know I don't understand. Like, like I've been waiting for years and years. And, and then, you know, eventually at some point, you know, I just left, I just left the church. And so I basically just went out. So because of all the girls in my whole life who screwed me over, that, that caused me to go MGTOW. And, 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 and ultimately, you know, I just went out, you know, in, 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 into the world and I, I looked for loose sex, you know, and, and because I was just fed up, I was like, well, if all they want for is, is me for my money, What's the point? You know, so I just went out and I just chased women for, for sex. And I learned to be a bad boy because this is what they wanted. They didn't want me when I wanted to love them. When I wanted to love them, it was like all about, well, how much money do you make? And, 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 and what kind of, you know, what kind of career do you have? And are you real spiritual? And are you this? And so it's like, it was actually even the hypergamy in the church was even worse than in the world. Because in the world, all they want is for you to have money and social status. But in, 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 in the church, it was like, I had to be real spiritual too, which I was spiritual, but they wanted me to like be overly spiritual, like, like more spiritual than other people. And it's just like, dude, that's weird. Like I just, I am what I am. You know what I mean? Like if you don't love me for who I am, then, then you don't love me at all. And that's ultimately what it was. They didn't love me for who I was. They loved me for, and, 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 and this is how I formulated the concept that women wanted men for utility. They wanted men for what men could do for them. They wanted men for our resources, for what, for our social status, things that weren't necessarily ultimately attached to us personally, things that we had formulated and built up. And it, and it just, it was just like, dude, that's, that's not who I really am. I mean, sure. I could have social, I've had social status in the past. I've had success in the past. You know, I, I could have a lot of money, but that doesn't define me. That's not, you know, it's, it's just like a woman gets mad when a guy likes her for her body it's like that doesn't define who she is and that that makes perfect sense there's nothing wrong with that i i understand that you shouldn't want a woman for her body you should want her for what's on the inside and in the same manner you shouldn't want me for for my money and for and for my social status but it was it was even worse in the church so it just i just lost respect for god and, and i pretty much was just depressed all the time and hurt and i've been that way for a long long time you know because you know i wanted someone and, and I was lonely and I'm still lonely. And it's just like, God never did anything for me. So it was like, I, I just, I, you know, oh, you know, now I just walk around ultimately with so much disrespect for God. I'm just like, yeah, you know, you again, <laughs> it's like, well, you, you know, dude, I went to, you know, I, I gave myself to you. And what did you do for me? Nothing. You, I, all, all I got was pain. So it's like, I, I just, now I basically have very little respect for God. I'm just depressed all the time. I'm hurt. You know, and, and like what he, what Sunrise video is saying in this video, he's saying that you you be you begin to behave like her. And I think that's true. You behave like the girl that that you pair bond with. But I pair bonded with my ex and I that I tried to bring into the church and, and we you know, we formed a bond, but she was she was so damaged from all her years of sleeping around that she just she just shit tested our whole relationship. Because ultimately, she didn't want to go to church with me. She wanted to go out and sleep around still. She wanted to have me and have her fun on the side. 
this is what women do. They love being promiscuous. You know what I mean? And, and she wanted her cake and to eat it too. And this is what they think they can do. They, they, they think that they can get a, guy, a main guy and still keep that sexual promiscuous lifestyle. And society encourages that. No slut shaming. Let's go to the slut walk. And you can't tell me what to do with my body. And all, like, like, you know, all this weird third wave feminism stuff that is just really ultimately undermining morals and undermining the family values, which is based on uh, you know, faithfulness, <laughs> it's based on being faithful to your, to your, to your husband, right. And being faithful to your wife. And it's like, once you undermine that, then there's no, how can you have love in a situation like that? Sex is wonderful. And it's like, it can be enjoyed wonderfully within a pair bonding situation. If there's love and if there's mutual respect and you have to work at that, you can't just expect the man to do the everything. You can't expect the man to totally, um, you know, he's got to do everything. He's got to make me happy. He's got to whine and die. And this is what these women think. They think because they, they think they have golden vaginas because the, the, there's so much emphasis on sex that they can use their sex to get this wonderful man who's going to make them feel. It's like, no, you, lady, you have to make yourself feel happy. You can't expect me to make, you have to make yourself feel happy. And then also we make each other happy and you you help me and I help you. And this is what mutual love relationship should be. But you don't see that today. You see selfish women who want to go out and sleep around and be promiscuous and get away with it. And there's no checks and balances. There's no negative feedback or judgment from society. You know, if anyone says anything bad about a woman slutting around, they're automatically a misogynist. If, if any man has a problem with a woman being a slut, he's automatically shamed. He's called an abuser and, uh, you know, a hater of females. And this is the society that we live in. People are actively fighting against things that they deem are judgmental or, or whatever, when those things are really just the things that keep us together as a, as a moral society. They're fighting the moral fabric of our society, which is just going to create chaos. <clears throat> it's just going to, you know, it just, all that produces is, you know, abortions, loose sexuality, um, children out of wedlock. Why is there so many single mothers out there? Because any attempt to shame the woman out of being a slut was, was, was shot down. You can't tell me what to do with my body. Okay, go be a slut. Go spread STDs. Go. It, it, it's just like, dude, loose sexuality damages our women. And, and not just those things. Not just having a kid out of wedlock. It damages them for their future relationships. Emotionally and mentally. You know? So, I, I mean, I've been hurting for years over this one woman. And she had so much potential. And we had a pair bond and we had love. And I felt like maybe this is my other half. We just got along. And it was just like, it was good. But then, but she was so damaged. She was so damaged from her past relationships. And so she shit tested the whole relationship, ruined the whole relationship. She had no backbone. She needed a man to lead her in everything. She couldn't make her own decisions when I wanted to, you know, have a, a real fundamentally faithful relationship she just she threw the, she crumpled up the whole thing and threw it away because she didn't want to leave her promiscuity you know and it's, it was so hard just to find somebody not only who i had things in common with not only that i had a you know a similar soul to not only that i loved and 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 could get along with but somebody who you know who was who i felt was not promiscuous but then it turned out that she was she was lying the whole time if, they, if they're relatively attractive it's just like they're they're automatically just gonna like you you can just go ahead and bank on the fact that they're gonna be slutting around you know they've developed constant tools these women have developed tools to keep themselves single right they could easily say no to sex they could easily find a man to love but no they've developed constant tools to keep themselves single They've got this concept of the perfect guy. I want the perfect guy. And so they, they put the men through all these shit tests and all these standards. And all those shit tests and standards will go away if you just be a bad boy. They'll drop all that shit if you just be a bad boy. But the moment you try to love them, they put you through all these standards. What's your income? You know, do you, do you wine her and dine her? So it's like when you're screwing her and when you're giving her that good dick and when you're being a bad boy, she chases you and she wants you so bad. But once you start to love her, once you start to care about her, then it's like, oh, then she, she has, then this 
switch is flipped and now she's got all these demands on you now she's got all these standards on you and this pretty much just ruins marriage it pretty much just ruins pair bonding it ruins long-term relationships all these concepts about the perfect guy men should do this men should do that all the while they're slutting around as they quote unquote wait for the best guy and the, and, and they're just damaged by the time the guy comes and then to top all that off they got all these standards it's just like you can't even have a can't even have a good relationship. It just ruins. It's just like you can't even find a good woman who doesn't, you know, constantly want the best guy. The standards are astronomical. Even in church, in church it's worse. You know, they all want Prince Charming, but they slut around with bad boys as they wait for him. Right? Then when they hit the wall, they settle with beta men. But truthfully, they don't even want these betas. They just want the security that these betas provide. The betas aren't challenging. They run the relationship. They get everything. It's just this, their, their selfishness, their pride. They're con then this is why, you know, in this video, they're constantly dissing the husbands. They're constantly trying to cheat. And then the guy feels like this is what women are doing in their 30s. He, and he's just discouraged from even wanting to, to settle down. Oh, well, she's going to get bored and she's just going to try to cheat with some random 20 year old and, and and this kid's 20 and he feels this way about women he's discouraged already and he hasn't even he's not even 25 by the time you hit 25 you have a couple of relationships under your belt you've been in the dating game for a while you've got some experience by the high, by the time you hit 30 you should you should be full MGTOW <laughs> but he's hitting MGTOW at 20 he skipped all that whole decade and that's good and, you know in a sense he's smart because he's gonna he's gonna forego and and overpass a lot of pain that we all go through in our 20s when it when it <laughs> the bumps in the roads of hitting these walls of realizing that oh women are really not what they what you thought they were they're not what they were in the movies they're not what they were in the in the uh f cartoons and the books and the fantasies they're not that they're sluts, they're liars, they're cheaters, they're worse than men, they're dirty, they're more dirty than men, they're more vicious, they're vitriolic and this is all true. And it's like, you don't want to say that to somebody who's 20 because you, you want them to have a good life. You want them to hopefully find a good woman. But you, the truth be told is they're going to get screwed. They're going to get screwed. It's like some, it's like a kid coming into a war and he's like, what do I know about this war? And, he, and so he goes to the older people who've been in the war for, for a few years and they got nothing good to tell him. Well, it's a shit war, son. Sorry. Here you are. <laughs> Sorry. You know what I mean? So they're constantly dissing their husbands, they're constantly cheating, and they did it to themselves. And, and this society encourages it, this feminist, liberal society. You know, the slut walk, no slut shaming. So anyway, this is a, this is a great video. This is something that I've been trying to say for a long time, that women are damaged, women who, who sleep around are damaged. So I want to give a shout out to uh, Sunrise Hoodie. And, um, you know, I encourage you all to go listen to this you know listen to this video at any rate this has been jay lee for northwest podcast thanks for listening peace